dollar signs, dollar signs. They say you can't make money with action, we hear that all the time. But Cap gon' show you how to increase your bottom line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How we gon' teach you Photoshop, how to make composites. Cap gon' teach you how to parlay and make collages. Kane gon' teach you how to hustle, how to make a profit. Hold on, Cap. Yeah, I gotta stay on topic. All we know is how to rise, rise, rise. We gon' show you how to rise, rise, rise. All we know is how to rise, rise, rise. We gon' show you how to rise, rise, rise. On everything, I'm ballin'. No, I'm shootin' to win. And if my angles ain't right, then we shootin' again. I got the contracts and they ready. So don't get cute with the pen. Cause once there's an agreement, then the magic begins. I had to put it all in the crap. I had to study and work and get better. I made mistakes, but I'm never gon' let up. Cause I be the one on the rise like I'm lifting my head up. The last from leaving the shoot. And believe I'm the one that got everything set up. The lights, the camera, the action. That ain't gon' happen unless you Invest and you get it, you get it We did it, but we never did it for credit We were pursuing perfection with edits and layers and filters And all the peripherals chasing the dream of a life with residuals We wanted nothing to do with the typical Lo and behold, you see we at the pinnacle Nothing could stop us, the rise Now we on the rise, 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 rise Now we on the rise, rise, rise Now we on the rise, 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 rise Now we on the rise, rise, rise Welcome everyone, Kendrick Brown with Rise Workshops. If you are watching on the replay, feel free to type in your comments and we'll answer them as we can throughout the week. Uh, today, we were gonna be interviewing Jason Sterling of Rocktown Media out of Little Rock, Arkansas. So I've got a few housekeeping things here first and then we'll go ahead and play his intro video and bring him in. Right now he's in our virtual green room. Uh, anybody that's watching on YouTube, we have a private uh, Facebook group Rise Workshops as well, and if you'd like to join our private workshop, ah, our private um, group, then you can go ahead and go to search for Rise Workshops um, on Facebook, and you'll be able to find it. And we can get you into the group. So we've got uh, seven viewers in here. Appreciate that uh, for the comments. Uh, Jeff, Chris, I see you. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I see you had a comment. You had sent a message to uh, Jason just before I announced this interview. So uh, you have a chance to ask your questions here live. And we have uh, anybody else that's watching on Facebook uh, for the announcement. Look up above uh, where the announcement is for this live and you'll see a StreamYard. Uh, you'll see a StreamYard link there. You have to click on that and give StreamYard permission uh, to see your name. That way I can acknowledge you when you... Uh, come across. I see you, Ken Matos. I see you, Jeff, Chris. You guys have been in before, so you know the drill with StreamYard. So give StreamYard permission so that we can see your name and I can acknowledge you. I appreciate that. So we've got Hallie in the back room as well. Kane may pop in here as we get going, but let's go ahead and get this thing going. I got two, excuse my head, uh, bobbing all around here. Uh, I got a new stream deck, so I'm trying to make it all work. So we got our, our promo for Rise 2, which is coming July 15th to the 17th in Orlando, Florida. We look forward to seeing you there. For those of you that have already signed up, we appreciate that. We look forward to seeing you and meeting you. If you haven't signed up yet, we still have spaces available. We got discount rooms in Orlando, Florida during the summertime. We've got rooms for $119 a night. Uh, so you'll be able to enjoy Orlando as well. Let's get some education with your photography. So here we go. Let's get started. Boom. The bro's back. We back. How are you ready for some composites? I know you is. Cap, you ready to teach them about some action? It's time to parlay again. You know I'm ready. All green screen on this side, hustling. Ready, you ain't gotta get yeah. ready, huh? Uh, rise and grind, rise and grind. This July, it's that time, it's that time. So get your tickets now and get in line. And we gon' show you how to rise one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
that was nice. Jason sent me that. I added the music to it. So Jason, I see you in the back room. I hope I did you justice. Uh, let's go ahead and bring on Jason with no further ado. And booyah. Jason Sterling, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> for those of you viewers who uh, don't know Jason or his work, uh, I don't know how you missed it because he is a social media guru with putting his stuff out on TikTok and TikTok and Instagram. That's uh, showing my age there. So uh, anyhow, uh, Jason is a uh, sports photographer out of Little Rock, Arkansas. He also started with uh, portraits and wedding, which he still does. Uh, but his sports side is what we're here to talk about. And he works with his wife. He's an icon shooter. I believe he's got that. Uh, what is that? The new Z6 something. What is it? Z6 two. Z62. I'm not an icon guy, so I don't know their formats. But anyhow, he's got mirrorless. And he also shoots with that D810 when he does his studio work. So there we go. Jason, go ahead and I'll pass it off to you. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, what I didn't include, and uh, we'll go on from there. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm from uh, Little Rock. I've been uh, a photographer for. 12 years, I've had my business officially for 12 years, probably been doing video and photo for a little bit longer. Uh, started off doing video in, uh, like before I went to college and then I actually went to University of Central Arkansas and I got my degree in digital filmmaking, but I started working for the yearbook at the university and that's kind of where I met my wife and that's where I kind of started taking pictures and we, we started our business in 2010 after we were like working on a yearbook at at UCA, um, we just kind of went from there, started shooting weddings, some seniors, and then I had a coach that I was good friends with asked me one time to come take pictures of his team. That was in 2013, and it's it's been going doing my sports stuff ever since. Uh, that is excellent. So uh, I still that... take pictures of that team to this day. <laughs> Of course, they know you're yeah. rocking it in Little Rock, yeah. Arkansas. Rocking it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we talked earlier uh, this week and you said currently you're shooting about 40 to 45 teams uh, per season and your social media game is off the hook. Talk a little bit about uh, how you promote your business with uh, social media. Oh, last, it really started taking off last year. I got I was looking at Instagram one day and it said, if you want to expand your business, you got to get on TikTok. I'm like, TikTok, I, I know what you're thinking. I don't, I don't want to be on TikTok. I've heard things about it. It's, it's not for me. Uh, I said, okay, just what the heck? I'll give it a shot. I made a TikTok and my second or third video I posted got 400,000 views. Wow. And so I, I was hooked after that. So I make five to 10 second video clips that show the behind the scenes, kind of what goes into it. And then the final image or couple images that come from that sequence. And wow. it has just absolutely taken off. I started my TikTok last July, like the end of July. And I have like 120,000 followers now on TikTok. And <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's less than a year. And I, I had my Instagram account for five years. And up until like this, past month i only could get to ten thousand followers in five years but now one of my videos on uh the instagram reels they started taking off i have one of my videos has 40 million views on it just in the past week uh -huh. which wow. is crazy and i've gotten twenty thousand followers in less than two weeks on instagram i use the term uh parlay a lot which is taking something you already have and making more out of it so with those followers do you have any plans to uh monetize those followers uh i already do that a little bit on tiktok uh, instagram has not invited me to their it's called the real bonus program they uh, have not invited invited me to their bonus program yet which is kind of right. crazy but but as soon as i hit ten thousand followers on tiktok they immediately invited me to their creator fund and so uh -huh. you can make a little you can make a little bit off of it, it you don't you don't make a whole lot <laughs> Right. Is there a way for you to know when you get uh, new business if it came from your TikTok? Uh, I generally ask when they send an email where they like saw me from. Mm -hmm. uh, but here lately, most of my messages have been coming directly from Instagram, believe it or not. Gotcha. Well, so more followers on TikTok <laughs> and yes. more business from Instagram. All For right, sure. Great. 
Uh, Howie, I see you in the background. If you want to come in, just pop your hand up and I will bring you in. And um, uh, let's check the comments right here, see what we got coming across here. Uh, Kim Meadows joined us early on. He's just saying good evening. Uh, can't wait for the show. Uh, I just put a welcome in to everyone that okay. is watching on the broadcast. Uh, someone says, uh, we need a link to that reel. Oh, the reel okay. that uh, uh, you had. You can put it in the private chat. I'll try to bring it across during the uh, the deal there. And then Jason. Uh, I'm says, actually, I'm using my phone right now. because I'm All right. I, no problem. I, 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 have, I have people in my house who are replacing my countertop. So it's kind of loud on the other side of the house. Wow. Hey, so let me sure. A, Go ahead. No, I was saying, I'm just in a bedroom with a white wall and a light on me. <laughs> I'm not in my office at all. That's all right. That's right. Hey, you guys don't know the backstory here. Jason almost didn't make it uh, uh, tonight. He messaged me about 30 minutes before we went live and said that his son had hit his hand in the door and he was at urgent care. So I might have been winging it. So, hey, he made it back, got his son taken care of, set up a quick setup and he's here. So we appreciate your efforts with that, Jason. Yeah, it's so not, not a problem. Good there. And then who we got here? You know me, I hang out in the comments, <laughs> Howie. <laughs> Howie, you should at least uh, give StreamYard permission to see your name. So look at the link, and then you'll be able to, uh, on the Facebook side, and then we'll see your name. All right, we got that. And on your uh, volume, so we just watched your clip. Uh, you had a variety of different shoots in there. When you shoot in that, in that style, are those like one-on-one -on -one sessions, or do you try to do that in a volume setting? So most of those are team settings. And whenever I do a team photo shoot, I require a minimum of 11 players to actually purchase a photo package. Okay. And I usually, I, that's usually not a problem to get that minimum number. Uh, my prices do vary just kind of based on distance. I've actually gone all over the state. I have shoots, I have a shoot in LA this summer. I'm going to Chicago for a shoot. And then I've been all over the state of Arkansas. So I'm driven, north and south like i've gone five hours the furthest i've gone for a shoot that and, sounds like kane <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm all over the place i usually when i got back from i guess i started in like march and april i think i had a team shoot just about every day or every other day for about a month and it was crazy and i needed a break there you <laughs> so go work, working too much but, so with uh, the uh when you do the travel shoots, uh -huh. how do you determine how much you need to get uh, for that travel, whether it's driving, flying, or whatever mm -hmm. the case might be? So I try to factor in my time, like how much time it takes me and like kind of how much time that I actually charge people if I'm doing like an hourly rate. And I kind of go off that. And of course, I've had to go up on my race because the cost of fuel and traveling anywhere right. now is just is kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, so like per player uh in central arkansas or when i go and travel most of my shoots if i do travel anywhere it's usually to northwest arkansas which is kind of fayetteville bentonville area where the university of arkansas is located and uh -huh. i've had a, had several shoots there and that's three hours away i just charge uh 25 dollars more a person to go up, up okay. there all right. All right. And how are you marketing your photos? What platform do you use? Or are you still paper order forms? Uh, what do you mean? Like market them? Just I sell them. Like how do you sell them to uh, sell, your okay. clients? Is it paper oh, order oh, forms? You got somebody there with a desk? It, all, all of my packages are digital for teams. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I do. I do all my packages for are uh, digital for teams. Now, if I do seniors, it's a little bit different because I have different senior packages and stuff that include prints and stuff. But here, I think it may be just the market that I'm in. I, mm -hmm. for the, I could not get anybody to buy prints. I couldn't get anybody to buy composites. It's so this is just kind of what worked for me. Okay, so you you pretty much do natural composites because what you're putting <laughs> yeah. out. A lot of folks are compositing to try to replicate and you're just shooting it as it is and, and selling mm -hmm. those digitals. So that so comes your... from my, that comes from my background in filmmaking, having a degree in that, and then actually shooting on a couple of like just small budget film sets. The motto was always get it right in camera, no matter what it took. 
because it's going to save you so much time on the back end. That is so true. That is so true. And, so and... I, yeah, I've kept that philosophy for 15 years now. Absolutely. It saves you a whole lot of time. So your digital package, your prices range from what to what with your digital packages? So with, with the team stuff, since I do so many of them, I only have one package and they get three digital images in that package. Wow. And, yeah, it's, it starts at $85 and they get mm -hmm. three digital, digital images. Okay. And so this year I have booked almost 70 teams uh -huh. and I have one shoot. I, I counted it one, as one shoot, but I have about 180 kids that I'm going to be taking pictures of on one day coming up in September. Okay. So you, do you focus on the travel teams or do you do the rec leagues as well? Uh, I do all of it. Uh, during the summer months, of course, I've gotten a bunch of travel baseball, travel softball teams. Uh, now when school's, starts picking up my month of august is completely booked with football and volleyball right. and then I, I have several basketball shoots already booked for september october and it just kind of varies by sport and kind of when their season is that's an interesting uh marketing plan that you have it is different than a lot of folks in the industry but mm -hmm. different is not always wrong different if it works it works <laughs> you know you yeah. cut out several middlemen you cut out the labs uh, you cut out any platform to market your products. You cut out having to have a, a desk or salesperson there. Uh, that's not a bad marketing plan. And apparently it is working for you. It's It's been amazing the past couple of years, so much so that I told my wife, I'm going to stop shooting weddings and just do sports all the time. Because <laughs> we, we still average shooting about 25 to 30 weddings a year. Wow. On top of yeah. doing all the sports stuff. That is super busy for sure. All right, let's check the uh, comments here and see what we got here. Uh, oh, this is Felicia. Can you want to meet up? She's out of New Jersey. And let's see what we got here. Just comments here. Felicia. This Sunday. Oh, Kane was in that. Kane was in New Jersey earlier, and Felicia is one of our members in Rise Workshops, and they're trying to hook up as well. Not hook up, hook up, but hook up to have coffee. <laughs> Kane is happily gotcha. married. Uh, let's see, Jeff Chris. Uh, I guess he had a question before that, but another one. How do you price your team shoots? Meaning, do you do a sitting fee or they want, or you give a package deal? And we pretty much so, just answered that, but go ahead. I, I say that they only get digitals. I post them on my uh, online hosting site. They can download the digitals, but I actually get quite a few people who will purchase prints because I have prints for sale on my website. Okay. So I, I really have nothing to do with the prints. They can purchase them if they want. I have a markup with the prints, right. of course, and I'll make a profit on it. And then they purchase them and they get shipped directly to their, their house. Okay. That works. That works. Uh, it, how, it, how do you, it's um, what a, go ahead. Go ahead. We're crossing. It, we have a little bit of a delay. That's why we keep crossing. Okay. Good. Um, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's um, all right. mo most of the shoots that I do, I say I have a minimum of 11. I normally get for those teams about 25 to 30 on the right. teams and basket basketball teams. I'll do girls and guys teams at the same time. Cause most of them have a max of 12 to 15 players per team. Okay. And so uh, I, I will typically get between the girls and guys teams around 20, 25. So all most right. all of the players on the team actually purchase the package. And that it takes works. me it takes me about if I do 20 kids, it'll take me about two hours to do okay. a shoot. That's that uh, FOMO, that fear of missing out. Everybody else is getting them. I don't want to miss out on my shots, too. So whether they wanted to or had the money or not, they're going to get them as well because everybody's getting them. Yeah. That's that, the same that's thing happened. happens with senior banners. Yeah, yeah that, that's happened a lot. Uh, somebody who hasn't seen any of my work before and there's some other kids showing them like my work on instagram or tiktok or something they're like calling their parents on the phone like we gotta have to get pictures made okay. i've seen that happen a couple times absolutely because uh they put that pressure on moms like everybody else got theirs how come i don't get mine yeah. i have another question here from uh jeff chris i've got a big question uh, what advice would you give a new photographer trying to produce the content that you do I got an answer, but I want to hear yours. 
Okay. So I don't know what you mean by like new photographer, just like getting into photography or been doing it, but want to actually kind of produce the kind of looks that I do. People ask me all the time on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, how do I get like a black background when I have all the lights <laughs> on in the stadium? And it's actually pretty, pretty simple to do. Learn, learn your lighting, learn exposure, learn your camera settings, learn the inverse square law learn your different lighting techniques and how the lighting in camera can affect your ambient lighting elsewhere. That would normally show up when you're just looking or have taking a picture on your phone, but it won't show up in your camera based off your lighting conditions. Just lighting was my favorite thing to do when I was in the film department. And so it kind of just carried over here. Uh, but yeah, learn, learn your lighting and just learn all of your uh, kind of camera, camera settings and how they affect your image. Absolutely. And I'll add to that, just practice, get your camera out, go in your yeah. garage, go in a vacant room. Uh, if you got to shoot, uh, get there earlier, get some shots in before the shoot starts and practice. Yes, absolutely. So let's yeah, the, see. More, the more you shoot, the better. Absolutely. Let's see if there's any new comments in here. Yeah, I see. I There we go. Got my something popped in. I lost my focus for a minute. I was trying to find it again. I think I got it. <laughs> All right, we're back in. Let's see. We got uh how are you ready to come in? Put your hand up. You want to come in? <laughs> I see you smiling. <laughs> All right. Here comes Howard. We're gonna bring him in as well. Okay. All right. What's up? Can you hear me? Right. Yeah, yep. I can hear you. Good. Okay. Sorry. I threw I've got a little cell phone set up going on here. <clears throat> Cap always, Cap always suggests we come on. I keep telling him he's the pretty one, so <laughs> I I start doing dangerous things like like hat giveaways, whenever <clears throat> whenever he lets me on Un unauthorized hat giveaways. <clears throat> so good to, good to meet you. Good to meet yeah, you, great. Jason. Good good, good nice stuff. I don't know. If I, all my comments are coming through as Rise Workshops, by the way. Like I, th yeah. I think okay. I've had w one come through as Howie, but um, yeah, excellent, excellent stuff mm -hmm. for in camera. And I was looking forward to your answer there when you said that, and um, uh, to to Jeff's comment, and I added knowing the knowing the the why or the the how behind the what. Like you know what you want, um, but knowing how to get there having having done it over and over and over repetition and like you said understanding all of the exposure dragging the shutter if you need to mm -hmm. cap cap just left yeah understanding how to how to drag the shutter if you need to how to how to crank it up make it go black if you need to um going going where, whichever direction you want to with an image like that is a super yeah. helpful tool yes for sure yeah uh, I, I get people asking me all the time how I do that. Like the one where I dra drag the shutter and then I'm mixing continuous lights with uh, my strobes. That's a little more challenging to kind of, to kind of pull off, but it just takes some practice. Just the more you do it, the more you kind of figure out what you're, what you're doing and the results you want to get. Well, and you know, tell me, tell me if I'm on the right track here with, uh, I, I heard you say you shoot weddings as well and you mm -hmm. do portraits and you do volume sports. And I feel like when you do a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, naturally it's going to diversify what you're able to do. Um, oh, your, sure. your, your bag of tricks, because you learn something, you do something at a wedding, like dragging a, a shutter during a reception to get mm -hmm. a cool little lighting effect. And you're like, Oh man, I can, I can use this in my sports stuff too. I, I just came up with something new and cool. And a lot of that stuff you come up with sometimes by accident. Sometimes uh, it's something you did before, but. Yeah, uh, actually that kind of happened back in January. I was, shoot I was shooting a wedding and it rained the whole day. They couldn't do any outside portraits. They booked this beautiful venue. And at the end of the day, it was still raining. I said, you want to go outside and do some shots in the rain? I uh, exposed for the ambient lighting that had some string lights kind of going on either side of them, but I mm -hmm. put my flash directly behind them and I put a Ziploc bag over the top of my speed light. And mm -hmm. all I did, all I did was bounce one light off of a wall onto them and then put the light behind them to illuminate all the rain. 
And then I had my second shooter that day do a behind the scenes video so I could put it on TikTok. And that one got like 1.4 million views <laughs> doing that. I I need to get on your TikTok. I, I get so frustrated because, and, I, and I'm, I'm sure repetition is probably a key. Um, but I think you said, what, your third or fourth one was the first one to blow up? Yes. Every, every time I post something on TikTok that's photography related. Now, I don't have – it's not a dedicated photography account. It's just – it's got stupid stuff. Like I've got – uh, I've got a video on there of uh, two crickets humping. So like, you know, it's, it's, it's just weird stuff, you know, like, I, you know, picking up lizards and, you know, whatever else. But um, uh, the ones that I've posted uh, that are photography related get like, you know, 25 likes and, you know, 300 views. But then I've got one of my garage door closing and barely missing my truck that got 2 million views. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, but some of the dumbest stuff that I post on there that I think will not go viral does go viral. Uh Like the one that my biggest video that I've had on Instagram has 40 million views. This was literally a joke that the assistant coach came up with last year, right before the shoot. He said, I think it would be funny if I had my nephew's little tykes basketball goal in this basketball photo shoot for this high school team. So we had two six six dudes dunking with a normal size ball on a little tyke skull. Yeah, and I saw some of, stills of, of course, that. Of, of course, that's the video that goes viral. <laughs> has forty million views. And then I have a girl dunking a mini basketball goal on a mini hoop that some guy's holding up. The kind that go in the back of the doors. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And, and that one has several million views. It's some of the dumbest stuff that goes viral. So you you now, oh there's Kane. Kane is in the <laughs> building. What's going on? I had to wait for the adequate moment to pop in. I didn't want to okay. jump in on your point there, uh, Jason. Let me hit these couple of comments here real quick, and then okay. we'll go to uh, Kane. Uh, this is Ken Matos. Here we go. When do you have time to edit the photos and do the sports and wedding? Huh. Well. My son does go to uh, an early learning center, so I get my my during the day. I'm kind of free to do my editing. Um, but then weekends, normally sh- we'll shoot weddings or have some kind of shoot. But most of the time, my shoots are in the evening. Everybody wants the dark background look with the smoke. I try to ask people, "Can I please come shoot in the middle of the day sometime to change it up?" Nope, they all want that look. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's where I have my time. I can w- work on my editing during the day, and then I have shoots in the evening. There you go. It works. Make it work. There's Rashad jumping in. I'm a fan, Jason. Keep raising the bar. Thank, thank you. Appreciate that. Rashad's out of Arizona. If you haven't seen okay. his work, he is something else. Fireworks. P H I R E W O R X. Rashad's okay. off the hook too. So, Kane, what's happening? I mean, I just been sitting back watching. I was backstage for a minute, then I jumped on, uh, you know, just to Facebook so I can make a comment or two. But yeah, um, you know, you know me, I'm a fan. You know, so at the end of the day, I'm a fan. I've been following you for a while. Okay, you know everything awesome. you do. You know, you're crushing it. You know, so you almost make me want to buy some Westcott strobes. I haven't got there yet, but <laughs> hey, I, I love these lights. I. I don't know what they did to the batteries on these. I have done four and five hour shoots and batteries have not died. Mm. And I've done, I've done high speed sync for two hour shoots and they'll, the high speed sync will last about two hours and I'm shooting at one thirty two hundredth of a second to one four thousand, even one eight thousandth of a second using those in the middle of the day. Mm. And they still last, still last about two hours. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I've been really considering those things. Mm-mm. But yeah, use, use all the smoke in your marketing. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be Kane. <laughs> no, nah, that's definitely not me. Got to be. Yeah, I must say, got to be Howard. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Good. We got another comment in here from uh, Ken Manos. I'm trying to shoot in the evening. Everyone wants daytime. Uh. That's just the opposite for me. I actually convinced that one coach I told you about and. Uh, started photographing his team in 2013. 
I'm photographing his team at 7.30 in the morning. And I said, finally, we could do some daytime photos. Mm, <laughs> every every other photo shoot for him has been either inside in the indoor facility or it's been at night. There you go. That mm-hmm. makes it work. I'm going to pop out and try to see if I can bring up your TikTok and you guys go okay. on ahead. So how much you want to, how how much much you want to bet Cap can't figure it out? <laughs> you know he can't. You know he can't. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, Cap. Can't. So I, I guess I had a question. I'm like in New okay. Jersey right now, so I'm on a move. Okay. I stay on a move. And it's just just for people, uh, whether they you know they knew or you know experienced photographers. Like when I look at your work, it's like where where do you get your inspiration from? Like do you decide like I'm just smoking it today? I'm coming out with gels today. I know you talked about the little tights basketball court, mm-hmm. but like you know just anything that you do, um, you know whether you at the volleyball and you bring in a fog machine there. Like mm-hmm. where do you where do you get the inspiration from? I've, I've done my, some research just on all the different sports, but I don't necessarily look at photo shoots for inspirations. I actually look at live action shots and some of the best live action shots that you can see. I kind of try to replicate some of those in some photo shoot uh, settings. Um, I always ask the team beforehand, what kind of look do you want? 90% of the time they want the black background and then the, uh, with the smoke. Uh, I ask them sometimes that they want the gel. Sometimes they say no. Sometimes it's like, we don't care. Most of the time they say we don't care, but I'll bring the gels. I like the way the gels look. I try to match their, uh, like the jersey color with the gels. The other night I did a, I just posted a video with a, a team that had purple jerseys. Finding a gel that matches that color purple is impossible. So I had to mix like three different color gels and I'm looking up at my light. I'm like, is this right? <laughs> Trying to get that, get that color right. I'm like, surely that's got to be close. And I even held it up to their jersey. I'm like, that's got to be pretty close. Hmm. Uh, so that's, that's me being very picky, getting the shot right in camera when I could probably just brush it in Photoshop and change the hue, <laughs> make it, make it the correct color. Oh man. That's what sucks. All right. Howie, you look like you had something to say. No, I was I was catching up on comments, and I don't I don't think we have the I don't know if we have the power to to bring the comments up. Um, okay, I'm quite sure Cap watching us, keeping an eye on us that mm-hmm. we up here. Yeah, yeah. and and, and Nuni said Cap is <laughs> there. It is. <laughs> Cap is very smart. Oh man, um, mm-hmm. that's crazy. But yeah, you know, uh, talking about talking about. Um, inspiration and and your uh all your <clears throat> you when you were saying uh sorry i lost my train of thought you were saying uh your live action shots is what you're talking about um mm-hmm. how much do you get inspired by um i, I know you said filmmaking but i, I guess i'm going to take this sort of into senior shoots and this this could also work for sports because i've seen some of the same techniques used but being a film guy um do you ever watch um music videos and draw inspiration from those because i feel like those are some of the best yeah best inspiration occasionally yes Mm -hmm. um I that's just a random. I, I can't <laughs> think of one off the top of my head. <laughs> that's, that's just a random thought. But I mean, there's no time where I'll sit down and watch maybe a few few videos in a row, and think, man, I want to build a set like that, or oh, that would be good to do like on location, whatever, whatever. So there's a lot. A lot of times, I'll ask the kids like that. They get three poses, and I do the typical one that all the parents like. You got to look at the camera. You the parents want you looking at the camera for one shot. And I was like, do you have anything in mind that you want to do? And then sometimes I just come up with their own stuff. Uh, case in point, Monday night when I did that football shoot, the guy said, I think it would be funny if I had, we both had our helmets on and I had this football and got down on one knee and I proposed to him with the football. So mm. you can go see on my Instagram right now that there is a, a, a reel where the guy is proposing to the other football player with the football. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I it makes, makes no sense to me, but... <laughs> I was I was going to ask that question next too because it's sort of like um, I was going to ask about your interaction with the kids. You know what I mean? Because when I look, it's sort of like what Howie said. Even like 
you know, whether it's music videos or anything like that, it's like you real tuned in with those kids, even with the music selections that you have mm -hmm. with your reels. And it's looking like, I mean, you make me want to just go get some pads and, uh, <laughs> you know, come get a shoot done. It's just like you real tuned in with those kids. And I could tell, like, it's just not the photos, but it's that experience that you provide mm -hmm. when you shoot. I, I had one kid, I heard him talking mm -hmm. behind me. And I did like some picture, and he's like, "Bro's gonna be Rocktown famous now." <laughs> what? <laughs> like, that's a verse I've never, I haven't heard that before. But uh, I, I try to like keep up with some of the music and stuff, and TikTok and Instagram do make it kind of easy because you can see what music is popular, mm -hmm. and you can. If you see a, like a TikTok video and you see the music and you can click on the music at the bottom of the TikTok and you can see how many times it's been used and you can save it. Same thing with the Instagram reels. You can do the same thing. Hmm. So I'll, I always try to use music that's like really mainstream, really popular that everybody likes hmm. or, or just some new stuff with popular artists that come out. So that's another thing. You got to keep up with what's what everybody likes these days and what's popular. Hmm. It, Good it, it's a, it's a lot. So it's the social media aspect, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of exhausting because I I try to post on TikTok and Instagram twice a day, mm. whether it's on story on Instagram or real or TikTok. <laughs> but uh, my workflow now that I know that I what I want to do for my social media, I set aside either on a Saturday or Sunday when I don't have a shoot every week. I will spend about an hour and a half making my videos for the rest of the week and so i actually have them saved and you save them as drafts i save them on my phone because some of the sometimes you want people to comment what about basketball can you post a basketball video you can reply to them and so if you reply to that comment you can actually save or go to that comment on the video where they comment it and pin it to the very top so everybody who comes to that video that's the first comment they see and it's your next video so that gives them more incentive to actually click on that video and I do that a lot with my viral videos. If you go look at the comment section, I've put like seven or eight videos on there at one point and I'll pin the comments. And so those in turn will get quite a few views. Wow. Way, way above my head with my social media <laughs> lacking self, but I will be watching your stuff and catching up with you for some, uh, uh, some tips. Let me see if I can share this uh, TikTok screen here. Let me see. Hold on. Let me give it a shot. We have faith in you. We were just we were just kidding earlier. Right. Let's see. Shit. Oh, here we go. All right. I don't know how big this thing is going to play, though. I don't know how to hide the comments and blow up the video. Let me go back. Let's see. That is Jason. weird that it's doing that to you. Yeah, you can oh. give me tips, Jason, because if I click on one, it's going to go... Let's try this. Um, what's up with that? Oh, my light just went off. <laughs> Let's try this. I don't know how to blow it up. I don't are which one Mac, are you using a mac or pc pc oh, okay i say on mac you can hit <laughs> you can hit command and the plus button and it'll make your screen bigger all right let me try this let me try this on top it, it might just be the stream yard connection on top it, well anyhow you guys hey, see let's, this. let's copy Great. the links let's copy the links on some of those and post them in the group all right, we can do that. We can do yep. that. And then, then that everybody can. That first one right there is actually from my most recent this, shoot. This one here, the football. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, let's see what we can do. Yeah. 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 They huh? yeah, I don't know how to blow it up. Oh well, we gave it a shot. We got the info That's here okay. uh, for TikTok. Let me stop sharing. Hey. Mm. I was gonna say, Cap, did you see right there where it said copy link when you had that pulled up? Yeah, I saw right, that. Never mind. We'll 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 get it here in a little bit. We'll okay. we'll post it. All right. 
I'll do one here. I posted one in the comments, so we'll give that a shot. How is the guru okay. with uh, social media? So anyhow, hey, I got something done out of it. So we're in uh, 42 minutes. Uh, I'm going to run through these comments real quick. Oh, uh, I see Ken Matos just said Windows just hit the plus button and it'll blow up. I'll oh. try that. Kane's kid hit his head. <laughs> no. All right, let me check. Uh, hold on, I'm just running through the comments. Okay. Ken Matos, I see you with three to four lights. Uh, Jason, what's your biggest feel like? So, not talking about like my my key light that I use, but just what I use for fill light. Is that correct? Uh, that's what he asked in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Typically for a fill light, it just depends on what kind of shoot I'm doing. I'll sometimes use like a small strip box to kind of get more fill under here. If I'm normally, if I'm going to shoot from like waist up or I'll use like a 34 inch kind of beauty dish type of uh, soft box and I'll put it underneath kind of shooting up to fill in the eyes. I like using that a lot, especially for baseball because they wear hats. And so um, like I like I like my key lights up just a little bit higher to add more contrast and kind of shadows underneath the chin, but then you can't see their eyes. So I add right. in that fill that like 34 inch uh softbox kind of underneath, probably about a stop and a half to two stops under just to get enough light on the eyes so you can see them. But it's still the image still looks kind of dramatic and has all that contrast to it. Because cool. if you had if you had if you had too much fill, then you're going to start getting into the headshot type of fill and get into that kind of pageant style lighting with all the kind of lighting coming from underneath, and not right. the kind of look I want to go for with my sports stuff. I do that kind of stuff for like headshots, and if they want like pageant stuff or for like cheer photos, I do that. I do a, a, several cheer gyms where I've had actually had two cheer gyms this year: one with 50 girls and one with like 140 girls. And wow. I did that kind of lighting and did like the pageant style lighting. They all, all loved it. That'll work. Whatever brings that money in, that's yeah. for sure. So I'm um, looking at the comments. I think we went through all the comments. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, go ahead and put your comments in there. I'll run through them. We're getting ready to wrap it up. We're at 44, 45 minutes. Uh, Rashad, uh, we need more interviews like this, Cap. Can we get one weekly? Shoot, I got to shoot too. I got to get paid as well. I've committed to two uh, per month. Uh, the two we have, we actually have um, uh, Zamani Fleming's coming up. I think it's next week or the week after that. Feelings. Uh, Zamani Feelings. The, uh, it's something to the, try to put these the things go. together. Right. <laughs> so, uh, who else? You, we got just pull, you just pulled a cane. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're trying to get these back, my man. <laughs> And I think that is it on the comments. So, uh, Howie and hey. Jace, I'm going to put good. I, I do have a question. It's Go real quick. It. Should, should only take a minute. Um, I might have missed this earlier. Now, I, I know you said that you you do a three pose digital package, um, and you you shoot multiple poses. But do you <clears throat> do you only shoot them in three poses, or do you shoot just bang out like five, six poses and then let them pick online. That's what I missed is if they're doing uh, online ordering or if they're doing, um, or if it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm just going to pick your best ones and you're going to get uh, that. The only time I ever do like let them pick their images when I actually do like actual mini sessions or something like that. Mm -hmm. For these, for these team shoots, I let them pick their poses. I'll do a couple different angles in each pose and I don't mind giving them a couple extra images because it's literally I can copy my settings from one picture and they're the exact same for the next image. Yeah. So, yeah. so I could just give them like two, two like images from the same pose, but just at different angles. So I kind of do that. So they'll get their three poses, but they might have like a couple different angles with each pose. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Good, good. So they might, they're ordering three, they're ordering three poses, but they might wind up with five or they usually, they usually get about five pictures, five or okay. six. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to put uh, both of you in the back room. I'm going to run Jason's video again, ours, and uh, don't hang up. Stay in the back room because we're going to come back okay. privately after we log off. So here we go. Okay. See you later. Thank you so much for your time. All right.
Kendra Brown with the Rise Workshops. Once again, we have a workshop coming up, Rise 2 in Orlando, Florida, July 15th to the 17th. We still have seats available. We have several folks who've already registered. We appreciate that. We look forward to meeting you and uh, learning together at uh, Rise Workshops 2 in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the rooms are at the Hampton Inn. $119 a night. You can't beat it in Florida during the summertime. You are not going to find a better deal on uh, housing. So I lost my focus again. Let me see if I can bring it back. Nope. There we go. Got it back, I think. Anyway, it's popping in and out. Anyhow, let's go ahead and go to the clip and we'll be out of here. Catch you the next time. Are you ready for some composites? I know you is. Cap, you ready to teach them about some action? It's time to parlay again. You know I'm ready. All green screen on this side, hustling. Stay ready, you ain't gotta get yeah. ready, huh? Uh, rise and grind, rise and grind. This July, it's that time, it's that time. So get your tickets now and get in line. And we gon' show you how to rise one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.